Good morning from Africa. So, baby Caro is doing fine, and I just want people to know that we are doing our best for her. We were not looking to have a monkey. It was not in our intention. We live in the bush here in Gambia. We're, we're out in the bush. This monkey was found nearby to our, our home, and we took her in. Um, like I said, it was not our, in our intention to be caring for a baby monkey right now or to have a baby monkey. So I just want people to know that, you know, we're, we, we don't have any ill intentions for her. We are trying our best for her. This is the way I wear her every day. I put her in a little sling and I carry her around like this and she falls asleep with me. And then when she wakes up, she has her active times. But I'm really trying to do the best for her. And it's just amazing. Like, I've, you know, I never, it was not my intention to make an, a YouTube channel. But after, after Caro came to us, um, and I told some friends and family that this is what was going on, everybody was amazed. I mean... There is this monkey mania. People love monkeys so much. And I understand it. I mean, there's obviously, like, look at them. They're, it's just like a baby. It's just like a human baby. People have a great love for monkeys. So when I started this YouTube channel, my intention was to have a venue for people who were asking me all these questions about her. It would be a venue where I could answer questions about her and let people know how she's doing. So that's how it started. Well, then I, I couldn't believe all the people that were writing and saying I'm a monkey abuser and these other things. And it's hard because I have love in my heart for this monkey. I am just trying to do the best that I can for her. And I had no idea that on YouTube there's this whole subculture of monkey world going on. There are monkeys being abused. There are monkeys being bought so that they're, the people that buy them can make YouTube channels and make money. Like, I had no idea about all this. I had no idea. And so... You know, I mean, I also, I can't believe how quickly this channel has grown. That was not the intention. The attention, intention of this channel was just to let people know how she's doing. And all of a sudden, in a matter of 20-something days, the channel has over 200 subscribers to it. And it just blows my mind. This is not the intention behind this, so I want people to know that. I didn't get this baby monkey from the bush so that I could make money on YouTube. I'm living a very busy life here in the bush, living off-grid, homesteading. Um, you know, we're living a very simple, humble life. We have a small little lodge here. So we get people from around the world to come bird watch and be in the nature. We live m very much in the nature here. Um, and, you know, like I said, we're homesteading. Um... We're growing our own food. So we're very busy and we're very simple, humble people. We never would take on a monkey so we could make millions on YouTube. You know what I mean? And that's what I find out people are doing. So I'm just putting this video out to clarify that we are trying our level best for this monkey. We love her very much. We want her to be re established in the wild as much as possible. And I know that. 100% she cannot be reintegrated into the wild. Her path is now different because she was orphaned by her mother. I know she was a preemie. She's tiny. She's still tiny. She still had her umbilical cord, um, you know, attached, partly attached. It was not yet healed. So we're just trying our best for her.
So I appreciate the people who can write in. If you have, if you have information on how to raise a monkey, if you have experience with it, if you have any insight, I am more than open to that. But what I am not open to is people saying derogatory and mean things um, and not knowing the story behind this. So please, feel free to write in, but do it in a kindly and respectful way. And I will be very open and honest with you and very happy to receive any kind of information that you can give to me to help. I want people to know that I've reached out to organizations for advice and help. Um, and I'm just doing the best that I can for her. So if you have questions or concerns, please talk to me kindly about it. I'll be happy to receive any kind of information you have to give. And, you know, 